hello guys welcome back to this channel in the previous lesson we studied the laws of indices and we solved a number of examples we got to understand that some numbers can be expressed as powers of another number so now for instance given the number 32 now 32 can be represented as 2x.5 now 2 is called the base and then 5 is the exponent, the power, or the index. Now in this video, we are going to talk about something different. Now instead of saying that 32 is equal to 2 exponent 5, we are going to say that the logarithm of 32 to the base 2 is equal to 5 and we can write that as log 32 base 2 is equal to 5 now what this primarily means is that 2 exponent 5 is equal to 32 and the idea behind this is that given the expression log b to the base a is equal to c you can represent this in the indices form as a exponent c equals b now to write this expression in the indices form what you are basically going to do is you write the base which is a and then you transport c to be exponent of the base so you have exponent c and then equal to b so that is exactly what we have here now this will happen provided a is not equal to 1 and a is a positive value so let's try an example so that we can understand this better now given the expression the logarithm of 256 to the base 2 is equal to x now we are going to find the value of x now what this means is that 2 raised to the power a certain number is equal to 256 now 256 is equal to 2 exponent 8 now because they have the same base then we can compare their exponents so straight away we know that x is equal to 8 so what it means is that the logarithm of 256 to the base 2 is equal to 8 or better still 2 raised to the power 8 is equal to 256 now let's look at some basic laws or properties of logarithms okay so now let's look at some basic properties or laws of logarithms now the first we are going to talk about is when you have log a base a now this is equal to 1 now what this means is that log of any number to the base of that same number is equal to 1 so for instance log 100 base 100 is equal to 1 if you have log 2 base 2 is also equal to 1 so basically log of a number to the base of that same number is equal to 1 now let's look at the second property the logarithm of 1 to the base a is equal to 0 
now this will happen provided that a is not equal to 1 and a is a positive value so if you have log of 1 to the base 6 this is equal to 0 if you have log of 1 to the base 2 is also equal to 0 so now let's talk about the third property now given log x to the base a plus log y to the base a then this is equal to log x times y to the base a so what it means is that if you want to add log of the same base then you want to multiply x and y so log x base e plus log y base e is equal to log x y base e now given log x base e minus log y base e then it's equal to log x over y base e so if you want to subtract log of the same base then you are basically going to divide and then if you want to add log of the same base then you are going to multiply now let's talk about the fifth property now if you have log x exponent n to the base e then this is equal to n log x base e so what you are going to do is you are going to transport n behind the log okay so log x exponent n to the base e is equal to n log x base e so these are some of the properties or the basic properties of logarithms now let's solve some examples so now let's try these examples together so for example one let's say we have log 3 base 10 plus log 2 base 10 now to solve this we basically need to multiply 2 and 3 because we have the same base so log 3 base 10 plus log 2 base 10 is equal to log 3 times 2 which is 6 base 10 now let's solve the second one given log 7 base 10 minus log 4 base 10 this is equal to log 7 divided by 4 base 10 now because we are subtracting log of the same base we are going to divide so that is going to be log 7 over 4 to the base 10 let's take the third example let's say we have 1 over 2 log 4 to the base 10 minus log 6 to the base 10 now for this example we first of all need to send the 1 over 2 as exponent of the 4 now you remember this property log x exponent n to the base a is equal to n log x to the base e so this is what we are going to use for the third example so that is going to be log of 4 raised to the power 1 over 2 
to the base 10 minus log 6 to the base 10 now 2 exponent 2 is equal to 4 so we have log 2 exponent 2 so multiplying 1 over 2 to the base 10 minus log 6 to the base 10 now let's simplify this the exponents now 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 so we have log 2 base 10 minus log 6 base 10 now because we are going to subtract log of the same base we are going to divide so log 2 base 10 minus log 6 base 10 is equal to log 2 over 6 base 10 now 2 over 6 is equal to 1 over 3 so the final answer is log 1 over 3 base 10 now for example 4 let's solve this given 1 over 2 log 25 minus 2 log 3 plus 2 log 6 now let's simplify this so let's transport 1 over 2 to the exponent of 25 so that is log 25 exponent 1 over 2 minus we are going to do same for log 3 so we have log 3 exponent 2 plus we have log 6 exponent 2 now we know that 5 exponent 2 is 25 so we can write log 5 exponent 2 times 1 over 2 minus log 9 because 3 squared is 9 so we have log 9 plus 6 squared is 36 so we have log 36 now let's simplify the exponents so that is going to be log 5 now 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 so we have log 5 minus plus log 36 now because we don't have any base here it's basically base 10 now if you are solving any logarithm question where the base is not given then you should consider it to be in base 10 now we have log 5 minus log 9 plus log 36 so what it means is that we are going to have log 5 now because we are going to subtract log 9 we are going to divide by 9 and then because we have addition here we are going to multiply by 36 okay to the base 10 now 9 goes into itself once into 36 4 times so we have 5 times 4 which is equal to 20 so the final answer is equal to the log of 20 to the base 10 now let's solve the last example for example 5 we have log of 64 to the base x divided by log of 4 to the base x now 64 is a multiple of 4 so we can express log 64 base x as log 4 exponent 3 base x divided by log 4 base x 
now using this property n log x base a is equal to log x exponent n base a we can transport 3 to be behind the log so that is going to be 3 log 4 base x divided by log 4 base x now log 4 base x cancels log 4 base x and then we have 3 times 1 so the final answer is equal to 3 so that's it for today's video if you like the content of this video feel free to like comment and share among friends don't forget to subscribe to receive more interesting videos. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.